take a look at this slide. The man in the center is 78-year-old Henry Rehans. In April 2015, Mr. Rehans was charged with sexual assault after having sex with his wife in a nursing home. Although he and his wife shared a loving relationship, the staff did not believe that she was capable of consenting to sex because of her dementia. This conviction sparked significant controversy, highlighting the complexities of what it means to consent to sex. Who can consent and who cannot? Is it ethical to have sex with someone if they can't consent in certain circumstances? Imagine, you've been with someone for years, but after being diagnosed with dementia, they can no longer consent to sex with you. Sexual consent is a model that we use in our society to judge ethically licit versus illicit sexual acts. Now, I agree, sexual consent is important. Don't get me wrong. But the problem is that it seems to exclude a significant portion of our population. By the year 2030, 75 million people are expected to be diagnosed with dementia worldwide. Couple this number with increased access to a blue little pill, and we have a problem. My research introduces and evaluates three new ways that our society can approach the topic of sex for people with dementia. The first way that we can approach cases of sex for people with dementia is by looking at their prior wishes and values in relation to present decisions. So, if someone with dementia was a nun who valued maintaining a life of chastity, then it might be ethically concerning if she expresses a desire to engage in sex. The second way that we can approach these kinds of cases is by actually trying to enable the person with dementia to make an autonomous choice about their sex life. So involving family members and caregivers might be an option. The third way that we can approach these kinds of cases is by dismissing the importance of consent altogether. Perhaps prioritizing things like pleasure and happiness might be more important for this particular demographic. This method was used in a recent case in the United States when former Supreme Court Justice Sandra O'Connor allowed her husband with dementia to pursue a new intimate relationship, specifically because it contributed to his happiness and because he could no longer remember her. Now, let me take you back to the case of Mr. Rehans. Was it unethical for him to have sex with his wife who had dementia if she couldn't consent? What if this was your mom? your dad, or you. My research helps us to approach these kinds of cases, which will inevitably increase in the very near future. Thank you.